you have to decide whether bond X trades cum interest or X interest on the 15th of, of September 2012. I'm going to write it up there, 15 September 2012. Right, coupon payment date, 31st of March, 30 September. So the next coupon payment date will definitely be 30 September 2012 and the previous coupon payment date will be the 31st of March 2012. The register closing date preceding the next coupon payment date is one month before the next coupon payment date, so the 31st of August 2012. So the transaction date, the 15th of September, will fall after the register closing date in the short period between the register closing date and the next coupon payment date. That will be the transaction date. So, if this bond trades on the 15th of September, who owned this bond on the register closing date? It's only going to trade on the 15th of September, so on the 31st of August, it still belongs to whoever is going to sell it, the seller. So. Who will receive the full coupon from 31st of March until 30 September on the next coupon payment date? The seller, because it belonged to him on the register closing date. But this is not quite fair because from the transaction date until the next coupon payment date, it belonged to the buyer. And that is a period of 15 days. So we can write it in here. From 15 September, the transaction date, until the next coupon payment date, 30 September, it belonged to the buyer. And therefore, the buyer has to be compensated for those 15 days. He has to receive interest for those 15 days that it belonged to him. Right, so how will that be done? It will be done by subtracting the accrued interest from the clean price so that the buyer will pay less. So the all-in price will be equal to the clean price minus the accrued interest. We say that the bond trades X interest. So in the table you will indicate that on 15 September 2012 this bond traded X interest and the period for which accrued interest has to be calculated is from 15 September 2012 until 30 years of September 2012, in other words for that small period that it belonged to the buyer.